Hello everyone, welcome back. So yes, I made another Flint Striker. And how many Flint Strikers does a guy need? As many as he wants, I guess. <laughs> so I'm going to put a link in the description um, to a couple of my blacksmithing, flint striking videos. Um, I'm by no means an expert. Um, I kind of have rudimentary tools, um, basically a little Harbor Freight anvil, a coffee can forge, or a forge I dig into the ground. Um, and each time I make one, um, I'm so like ergonomically challenged with the way I set everything up that I say all right this is gonna be my last one until I get a uh, proper anvil and a proper forge and um, and then all of a sudden I say I get an idea in my head and I gotta make another one but uh, yeah one day I'll get the correct setup so I have this one here and I did a couple things different but uh, it's reminiscent, I would guess, of like a colonial striker, and, and I make mine um, to be held, you know, pinch held. Um, I don't particularly care for the ones that go around your your whole hand like this, the C-shaped ones. I I could get them to work, but I don't feel like I could do it as good as these. So um, I got a pretty big curl cue down here, and this was made from a Heller file. Made in the USA, pretty old file. Um, it actually was my dad's. And it was uh, pretty beat up. Um, so it wasn't really good to be used as a file anymore. But I found a use for it. And I'll always remember that this was his file. You could actually see some of the file cuts in it. And the things I did different with this is, um, after I forged it, I took a um, four-inch flap sander on my angle grinder and I softened it all up and took a lot of the forge marks out of it. There's still a few little marks, so you can see it was hand-forged. Um, but I took a lot of them out and I softened it. And then I blued it, okay? I wanted it to be dark and I didn't clean it, like degrease it before I blued it. Because I wanted to see if I could almost get that case hardening effect. If anyone's ever seen case hardening on a, um, a rifle or, or a pistol. Um, you kind of get those different colors in there. And I think I kind of achieved it a little bit. Um, but I'm really digging it. Now, if you look at like this one. You can see a lot of the forge marks. The scaling. And the color is totally different. You have like a grayish color. Now, of course, I know you want to see it work. Grab a little piece of chocolate. And we have some nice Florida chert. Look at this. Beautiful. Fold it over. Pull that down. And give her a strike. And there she goes. So it works great. Throw some really, really nice sparks. So there it is, my latest hand-forged flint striker. And like I said, I'll put a link in the description of, of the earlier videos of me forging them. Um, in case anyone's interested, this took me about two hours to forge, um, clean up, heat treat, the whole bit. So I would guess a, an experienced blacksmith could probably knock this out within a half an hour, the whole thing. But uh, again, like I said, 
rudimentary tools and, and still practicing on this. But uh, I want to thank you all for coming along. I hope you enjoyed seeing this. I hope you all are staying safe out there. And I really, really, really appreciate all your comments and your views because it warms my heart. So thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.